What's up, everybody? It's Nerp here, and today I'm on the test server. Many of you guys wanted me to do uh, playing in the test server videos and deck building videos in the test server, so here you have it. I'll have a few videos here, probably one for each faction. And what I did was this is my um, Decay Order YOLO Decay deck. Um, a lot of Dark Title damage really takes advantage of this uh, scroll Forbidden Ruins. Um, it's one of the new lingering spells, only lingers for three turns, but all non-combat damage against idols is increased by one, so that means, that means Caller's Bane will do two damage to every idol, that means Faith Chains will do two damage to every idol, Decimation will be three damage, Hex Marks plus four, Wicked Being uh, is three, Little Darkling is three, uh, Tone of Suffering, every time a unit dies, that's two idol damage, um, so, yeah. I think you can understand why uh, why this deck can work now. So, like, other Yolo Decay usually doesn't have Order, even though Order has these three really good Dark Idol damage uh, enchantments and spells, um, it just wasn't worth it because there's only one damage to idols, one damage to idols, two damage to idols, but with this, with this scroll Forbidden Runes, I think it could work. And Totem of Suffering with Forbidden Runes, I think, is going to be really, really, really strong. Because it's two, every unit's a little darkling basically when you get that out, and that could be really awesome. Um, I only wish it was four health, though. It'd be really good if this was four health. Um, so, what I basically did to build this deck, I took Blinky's Yolo Decay deck and took out what I thought was least valuable and added in these four order scrolls, and uh, it's almost suffering. Um, so, the so the creatures in the deck, you gotta have creatures to at least put the enchantments on. And you just need creatures <laughs> and for the to, to die for the totem of suffering. So what I decided to do was um Meyer Shambler turn one, lots of versatility, uh two move, one health, guys easily throw on damage curse, it's fine because you're gonna be doing all sorts of stuff with it. Um two turn one drops, I like that. And there's two two drops. I took out the tri Elmira Trisman and put a you gotta have the loyal darkling and i put a tethered recruit because i want a way to get to order like there's no replenish in this deck so none of that op stuff to get to the order you gotta actually get there yourself so tethered recruit will help that a little bit um and then uh our hearts this was pretty good because it will do two damage to the idol behind the unit you're attacking uh so that's one of the two three drops i have in harvester i'm not so sure about harvester i might replace harvester with, with a uh with a um whatever it's called a rot eater because so far through my testing harvester hasn't been attacking much um soul steel it can be removal and more units that die to the damage curse too so that's cool and a flesh animator helps to count down the harvester and the minor shambler so i think flesh animator is pretty awesome as well so uh basically and everything else is Pretty self-explanatory. You got wicked beings, hex marks, um, as like the more decay, uh, dark battle damage, and then this order stuff, um, summons, and the totem of suffering is really good. Uh, what if I'm always able to get a totem of suffering out? You can get multiple totem of sufferings out and do like four damage to uh, idols every time your unit dies, and that is really, really, really cool. And these. Forbidden Ruin stack. If there's only like a, if there's a scroll that could just um, like kind of like Earthborn Mystic that draws enchantments that draws the true spells. Like actually no, there's a lot. There's other spells in this deck. But if there's like a scroll that drew lingering spells, that'd be amazing. Um, because you can just continue goes to the path. There's only three in the deck Forbidden Ruins, but um, once you get these out, it's really really awesome. And so what else did I take out of the regular old decay? Like there's no regenerators. No beetle stones. I just had to take out some things, and those seemed like the weakest, the weakest links in the old decay deck. So yeah. So now you'll see a match of me playing this deck versus the Overlord because he's it's kind enough to play with this. And we're going to have like a. I think I'm playing him for the other matches for the factions as well. So enjoy. Okay. So playing here with this. I don't even know what you'd call it. Decay order YOLO? I don't know. YOLO do. YOLO do. YOLO do. That sounds good, YOLO do. 
Um, I guess it's pretty good as I can go. Recruit, have it recruit, and maybe soul steal this thing. And I will go ahead and sacrifice the faith chains. You can move down and kill me, but whatever. I don't know if I'm gonna put the tethered recruit to protect this, but then the tethered re recruit only has one health, so it would guarantee death by the raider. And the raider's relentless, so he probably has like machinated, desperation, all that stuff. Maybe. So I don't wanna really line him up. Let's see if he moves down first. We'll see if he tries to engage me. Hmm. Green block art, he doesn't, it doesn't look like he's moving down. Okay, interesting. Maybe he has like a spark he's gonna, ooh. Now. I want to get out the tethered recruit over the loyal darkling, and I want to keep that caller's bane. I think. You know, we're not going to keep it. We have a we threw caller's bane into the deck. We don't need to keep it. I don't think. So we'll play the tethered recruit um, right here. There we go, and uh, this should be pretty good. And next turn. I can soul steal this raider. And then the next turn play a totem of suffering. He has energy though. Energy uh this can easily destroy a totem of suffering. The problem with this deck, I think it may revolve around um the lingering spell, Forbidden Ruins, too much. Because the splash of order with all these like direct islands with order spells really are only gonna be that good with the uh with the Lingering spell in play. So we'll see. These lingering spells are really, really going to shake up the game. At least that's my opinion. Then again, uh, people say that about every like new thing that comes out in a patch. But definitely can make crazy growth decks that could just go necro double necrogen and crimson bull god in the same turn with all the wild replenish stuff. Um, honestly, like before I was most excited about the new Gravelock stuff this set. But now I'm probably feeling like grow, uh, energy got the least like OP stuff. Is like like uh, the other factions I feel like got even more OP stuff. Um, I'm gonna get out of the way, I guess. Hopefully he doesn't have like a blind range or something. Okay, so now I'll get that totem of suffering out. I guess. And it does, even though it won't do that much, it will actually force him to destroy it eventually. And we do have three summons in the deck, so it's not like keeping them around, like trying to save it for a good time. It's really that worth it. So this guy's new. He's unique. So when he can reset. Okay. And he counts as a grave lock himself, so you gotta remember that. I'm gonna keep hold of that hex marks. I'm gonna play the Tone of Suffering. Sack the Little Darkling. Little Darkling is good. I don't think good as good as we want it to be. I, I mean, it's oddly how I worded that. Um, it's just that I think the hex marks are more important right now. So let's see. Second for resources, elder. Eh, I kind of regret putting this here now. That's gonna probably ooh damage curse. Um, damage curse would do idle damage because it, these guys would die. But honestly, I don't think I want to do that and kill my own units just yet. So let's go ahead and hex marks. Probably hex marks the thing that is less likely to die. I mean, they're both pretty likely to die. And at least we could summons that really easily. Honestly, this guy's this guy's increased energy thing won't be much of a big deal next turn. Most likely, be he's top decking, so it's not like a big play will happen anyways. I hope. So we can't be thunder surge next turn, so I don't mind grouping together, and we're gonna separate our idle damage a little bit. I could move down just for some order, but not yet. I'm gonna I want to keep my creatures around just in case I need to do like faith chains and stuff later. So second for scrolls, so he could go for an extra three energy this turn, but he might not 
have anything he needs to do. I was just honest, he could have Thunder Surge if, if he had Thunder Surge because of the energy thing, so. Yeah. Uh, so he gets a clock over at. That's it's pretty good for me. He doesn't do anything else. Drew is holding suffering. No point in really keeping the summons around. Uh, Wicked Being. Myra Shamler. May as well just play a Totem of Suffering, right? Um, I'll go ahead and deal damage to this idol. And you up. And play that there. Okay, pretty good. So now, like right now this deck is working just fine <laughs> without even drawing the Forbidden Ruins. Once I get those that Forbidden Ruins out, it's going to be amazing. Doesn't seem like he's drawing great removal right now for like that hex marked guy. Okay, so it's going to be hard for me to damage that idol in the middle there. So he knows what's up. He has to protect the idols. He knows it. And... Um, I'm gonna sacrifice the Soul Steel because his units are really big, <laughs> and Soul Steels won't do much to them. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna stay put. I'm gonna destroy these idols. Actually, I'm not really gonna stay put. I'm gonna try to um, 50-50 chance of this match. I'm gonna destroy this idol. Hi, right, whatever. I will. Okay, so now I now I really want to draw that that spell because then my things are gonna be much stronger. And I want to draw faith chains, all that stuff now. Oh, the little disconnect reconnect. So if he has thunderfish, you can play it because, as we know, this dude who long knows. But what's gonna happen? Maybe a fury. Maybe a Fury. Um, bombard? No. Most of these guys aren't ranged. Only these guys are ranged. Interesting, he has higher spawn in the deck. Maybe just draw a clock clock for I don't know. Yes, he does not have a big play for us. Seems like we've lucked out a lot on the big plays he could have had. Uh, I'll go ahead and. Sacrifice the hex marks. I don't think he's gonna let us get much big idol damage. And we don't really darn. Let's go ahead and move you up. He can basically destroy whatever kind of stuff he wants to destroy. If he's gonna destroy stuff, so rather him do the tethered recruit. I want to protect you guys and get a little dark one here. I know little dark one there would ensure the uh, destruction of that idol, but he might want to just go for like a burn or something on this totus offer instead of destroying it himself. These then these guys. For the idol. But he, I don't think he knows I have like stuff like Colors Bane and and uh, Faith Chains, so and that and those three and those three forbidden runes that I have not drawn yet, so I should be okay. But I have to worry these grave locks another Elzer out like soon could really be bad because that is he can win the game really fast. I'm not so sure about the decimations in this deck because I get like 
if you just can't do that last bit of idle damage, you always have the decimations, and those can do possibly three idle damage. But against like a, a faster deck, like almost like Grave Locks, Igrasa aren't even that fast. And I probably won't have time to like sacrifice scrolls and try to draw them. Interesting. Okay. So. I guess that's fine. I don't really mind that. Yeah, the Machination Mindset. Pretty glad that he used a scroll to do that because all that it all gives him really is he gets to move this Elder up and destroy a Darkling. That's going to do three damage to that idol. Okay, so that thing's. Oh no, well actually, it's going to be two damage to that idol. At least that thing's down. Um. I'm gonna keep the wicked beings, sacrifice the ripper. Uh, let's see. So I can actually. I know I have stuff enough idle damage. Let's see. So if I do all this, like I can just. How can I make it so? Want you to stay put. Um, I might be missing something. If there's a, be a better way to do this, Go with a flesh, dude. So I have a one third chance of that moving down there, which would be just perfect. Oh, I didn't get the, I didn't get the luckiness. Oh, also, all right, now he's a lot of resources. He better have something to show the tarp series. That would be really bad for him. Unless he have like has like two potion of resistance. That gives all the damage curse. Um, I have two more damage curses in the deck. Maybe I should have just loaded up on Wicked Beings last turn to destroy idol and stuff. Hope I can get a I really want a faith chain soon. Like, really soon. Okay, so he is making a big play here. Eleven energy with and he's lost rolls now. So most likely he's gonna be able to clear my board. The safest bet is getting Wicked Beings on the Darkling because I can actually destroy the Darkling myself without you having to use Soul Steals or Dynamic Curses. Okay, so they're dead. And I fully assume he has something to destroy this Harvester. I mean, he has to. Anything about the Spursal, a couple Sparks. He's gotta have something. Huh. So now that Rules Bound Dispersal out of the play. Wow. This harvester lives. That's really good for me. Um, forbidden ruins. What do I want to sacrifice? Probably one of the wicked beings. Because I need the darkling for like that self death and stuff. Two forbidden ruins. Go ahead and kill you and destroy that idol. And now I'm going to play a Forbidden Ruins and a Wicked Being on you. So when you die, you will do two damage to that idol. No, three damage. And I can make it four when I play another Forbidden Ruins next turn because they stack. And I have to get that little Darkling out. Now I wish I had the uh, the other Wicked Being. I should. Knowing his energy. I probably should have sacked the Darkling. And still, I think he would have to destroy that thing. Or actually, it wouldn't. He wouldn't have to destroy that thing. 
Okay. Like a faith change would be really good for me still. So we're most like most likely going to don't tell me he can win the win the game this turn. Okay, good. He can't. He's just gonna destroy an idol probably, or destroy the harvester and do a lot of idol damage back there. Um. Right now we do four damage to the idol when this thing dies. Oh, problem with this. I should have put on that guy. Is you're gonna move. That may have been a big mistake. You're going to move around. I just I just realized that. Uh okay. Decimation. That's pretty good, right? Uh well. I don't want he only has two scrolls in hand. It's a good chance we don't lose next turn. I wanna keep you on this row. Let's go ahead and Play another Forbidden Ruins. Yeah. Or actually, let's play Darkwing and My Shambler. Yeah. We'll go like that. Okay, so how are we going to make you stay in this row? Like this. Shambler here. And a. Darkling. Oh, I just realized this guy's mashing it, isn't he? I lose. To like. To like a. Yeah, I'm gonna lose to a. Um, like another mashing it on this. Oh, I lose. I already lost. He gets to move this up and move this gray block elder back. I just lost the game. I didn't see that. Oh, I was so excited. I don't think I really could have done much to protect against it, though. So I don't really fault myself that much. Hopefully he doesn't see it. Yes, see it. Well, maybe he does see it, and he has another way to win up there. We'll see. We'll see if we were given a gift here. Because there's a very good chance. Oh, he's moving. Yes. Yes, yes. Or no, mashing it and he wins there. Oh, he doesn't have enough resources. Yes, he had he had the win, I'm sure of it. And that's going to be game. That's going to be game. GG, well played. I'm going to tell him he had, uh, he had you. Um... Oh, never mind. I just noticed. Um, I guess that would happen because, because I forgot this guy and this guy would destroy the idol when he's. Okay, well, that's that's GG. So if I sack this for a wild, then I could play the Forbidden Ruins, right? And then go like this. Oh boy. So that was pretty exciting. I really like this. I feel like Blinky loving the YOLO Decay stuff. But this is YOLO Decay with Order. My own concoction. Um, so a lot of you guys said you want to see uh, more stuff on the test server. So I delivered that. And I think I'm going to show you guys some of the awesome growth, growth stuff. Because that can make some crazy stuff happen too. And then there's also the uh, grave locks and the knights from order for and energy stuff. So thank you all for watching. Like if you like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Uh, submit your top plays, top plays of the week, and I will see you all next time.